be. I agree, actually. Like, okay, oh, you look at you look at oh, okay, oh. okay, okay. Hear me out. <laughs> See, we're gonna make we're gonna make strings much of us. It's gonna explode. <laughs> yeah, I have rarely seen that visceral of a reaction from anybody that is just a skull. Like I was scared your eye was gonna pop out further. <laughs> You're killing me, Knight. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm actually tearing up. This is bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I was waiting oh. for that. <laughs> <laughs> you knew, you knew I had to play that. Uh, we were still friends, Triv. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> all, all is forgiven. Uh, welcome to the channel. It's our monthly hangout. The Deadly Venoms. We're all here, ready to rock and roll. We got Monty, Eric, Triv, Coriander. Strange Monkey, and also Finn from Cadaver Club. And tonight, we're going to be talking about our picks for the best horror movie in each decade. The 70s, the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s, and the 2010s. And this is going to be interesting because, yeah, you'd think, you'd think that we'd have some similar picks. We'll see what we've got. We'll see what we've got. <laughs> we'll see what we've got. It's quite a <laughs> <But> mystery. <laughs> what what I want to do is, uh, and we're going to give people another minute to get set up in the chat. For you guys in the chat, feel free to let us know what your picks are, your favorite horror movie from each decade, the seventies, throughout the twenty tens, and we'll uh, we'll see if that matches up with what we've got going on. We also have, as usual, a bad quote-unquote bad movie review this time coriander is going to grace us so that's going to be a lot of fun because finally finally <laughs> finally we're going to talk some tcm too. so oh we're man gonna, we're going to get finished getting set up we're going to give you guys another minute to jump in the chat if you choose to do so so for you guys watching for you guys checking us out sit back relax you know what time it is i met this six-year-old child with this blank, pale, emotionless face. And... Okay, all right, let's get... Strange Monkey is dancing. All right. <laughs> That's always a good sign. I, I, every time that intro plays, I'm like, here we go. <laughs> Knight, how do you continually make this so friggin' epic? My God, man. I'll hail. <laughs> oh, geez. Thanks, thanks. I get excited talking about movies with you guys, man. You know? Yeah. We've, we've had so many great laughs and stuff, man. Seriously. Mm -hmm. tonight, tonight we're going to see where we're going to go, though. Um, before we get It's started, always off the rails. You know that. It, mm -hmm. it, tru it truly is. I could have played, like, a bunch of clips from last episode, and I was like, oh, man, I don't want to, like, you know, go overboard. But... Um, I do that anyway sometimes. But anyways, um, <laughs> just to say hi to you guys in the chat. We see a lot of you guys here. Wayne, Robin, um, Mr. Dan is in the chat. Dan, thank you so much for joining our Patreon. You're, you're awesome, dude. We really appreciate yeah. that. That was a big surprise. Um, he's saying, I'm guessing The Exorcist for the 70s, but they also love Jaws on the Night Watch Zone. <laughs> we, we shall see. We shall see. There might be some some... Some surprises. Uh, we got Castellar in the chat, too. And Sean. Oh, wow. Saying, man, I could pick a favorite from my child children before I could pick favorites from horror. Too many great <laughs> <laughs> And that right there went to the internet for the night. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, Flamethrower is in the chat, too. What's going on, Flamethrower? <laughs> that was a good one putting your children out on Elm Street like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's up, Brendan? <laughs> and look who's there. Uh -oh. Corey himself. Mr. Corey. Corey. Hey. Hey. The man. The man. Yes. That's right. Uh, he's saying, I didn't know you were live, Eric. Night, DM me. <laughs> okay. All right. I will. I will. All right. So before we get going, 
I want to throw this out there. We picked our favorite horror movie from each decade, from the 70s throughout the 2010s. Just in, in any of you guys can answer this if you want. Was it difficult to do this? Not really. Okay. <laughs> so, sort of. <laughs> yeah, sort of for me. There were, they, especially during the, the 2010s because there were a lot of good movies for me that, that, that I really truly liked. And I had a difficult time trying to pick the one. But it, eventually the one I picked actually won out. Okay. Mm. All right. It That's was cool. kind of tough for me because I'm I'm awful at you know years and decades and stuff. I really am. So I I cheated a little bit and I picked ones that either I've I I own, you know, to make it easier to pick something, mm -hmm. or if it's something like say I didn't own, I've seen it a hundred times and it's always in the back of my mind. So it it was difficult until I made that little adjustment. Okay. All right. Anyone I'd say else? maybe the one from the eighties was a little difficult, but mm. yeah. I just, mm. Mm -hmm. I couldn't decide good, bad, or good, good. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? Trip. No, no I, get, I get what Trip means. We're in right for it. Hey, I could have, I could have, I could have picked Exorcist too, but did I? I guess no, we'll have to no, wait and no, see. No, no. <laughs> Monty would have left. Monty would have been like, "Screw this! I'm out of here." <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh man. All right. Yeah, no, well, I, would, I, I probably would have the worst worst reaction than, than the first time when <laughs> Knight talked about uh, Exorcist Two. <laughs> he would have had a strange oh, God. moment. Yeah. Oh God, man! A lot of Knight, I might have a strange one of mine, maybe. <laughs> you, what? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> that is if I chose that one or not. <laughs> oh my God! Too funny. Well, let's do this before we get into that. I know everyone everyone's been waiting for this, but Coriander, I'm going to let you start with. What you had to overcome. We've been we've been teasing this oh, for the last I couple of episodes. <laughs> we've been teasing I, I, it. I feel for you, boy, Yander. And, and you just, just thank you. Just, just thank God it wasn't Exorcist Two or Slender Man. <laughs> Come on, oh, you, you might as well you might as well get it over with now. <laughs> I Rip guess right. Bandit, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. What's up, Lamar? How you doing? Hey. <laughs> so I'm not going to like go into big detail because y'all have seen it and if people haven't in the chat, well, that's up to you if you want to check this movie out. You know, I did enjoy how it began. You know, I liked the bridge scene. I liked when those kids got killed and you first see Leatherface, you know, because he's got that dead body in front of him. That was pretty damn cool. Mm -hmm. And, you know, yeah, I guess that, you know, once we got to the chili contest, that was, you know, I know they try to put some humor in this, and it was okay. She's struggling. <laughs> so funny, not what you expect to hear in a horror movie. And then they had a lovely chili contest. Yeah, this right. is Texas Chainsaw Massacre too. I got a, I got a yeah, guess. you know, right, and it's all in the meat, you know. So you know <laughs> that you're, you're eating, you know, human meat. But shit, you guys, you gotta let me do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Sorry. So, <laughs> and uh, you know, I didn't mind. You know, I thought Lefty was a great character. Stretch, mm -hmm. she had her moments. Um, Chop Top, but once in a while, it was a little over the top. But he is anyway. Um, mm -hmm. And I really didn't care for like Leatherface's mask. It looked too cheesy. I mean, once he took LG's face off, you know, that mask, that skin face looked really good. He should have changed that up. Um, and I love that Savini did the effects. I mean, whenever he does the effects to any movie, it's gold. So, right. and, you know, the ending, there was a couple, you know, for me, the ending was long. Um, yeah. I didn't like the fact that, you know, I did enjoy when, Lefty and Leatherface got into their duel, you know, but once he got sliced and Lefty was putting that chainsaw in his gut and making that big hole and putting it all the way through and Leatherface is, face is still like, oh, you know, I'm still holding my chainsaw and fighting and it's like, come on, that was a little over the top. And yeah. another thing too is like when LG, I mean, how many times did that guy get smashed over the head with a hammer? And yeah. <laughs> I mean, God knows what else. And then he's getting sliced up and he comes back to life acting like, oh, you know, 
<laughs> nothing really happened. I'm going to spit. And, you know, it was just like, I don't know. The ending was too long. And uh, I don't know. What, to say. I, what I can tell you, I did enjoy it a little bit more than in the past. I'm going to rate it like how Night, right, rated what? <laughs> Friday the 13th, part nine. It went up a couple notches. So th this movie went up a couple notches. <sighs> Eric what has another <laughs> victory. What <are> <laughs> yeah. But just a couple. What's that damn ending? Sometimes the ending we gotta take what we like, can get. <laughs> yeah, and if the ending was like 10 minutes shorter, mm -hmm. and if half of that stupid shit didn't happen with <laughs> Leatherface <laughs> and LG, <laughs> I probably would have been okay. But oh, when do you think the ending started, Coriander? Say what? What at what point do you think the ending started? He <laughs> said it was like long. Well, you know, when she when she pulled in after they pulled into that amusement park and oh, that's Lefty amazing. started chasing her and you know, and she's like, Ah, you know, that right there is that's when the awesome. ending started for me. You wanted that ending to be okay, well, done. Then you I, wanted I that movie to be over with. <laughs> According to your uh, definition of ending, yes, the ending was very long. <laughs> that was like the second act. Yes. Yeah. She wanted that to be the ending. Yeah. She wanted it to end yeah. five minutes in. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, 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 contest? <laughs> I'm, I'm just right. impressed that she actually said she enjoyed it to some degree because she's been harping on this movie since the beginning. Like, like seriously. So I'm just impressed that she actually watched it, didn't want to turn it off, and actually said she enjoyed most of it. So that's a victory. That's like a huge victory. And the uh, yeah, first I, I, half was pretty good. The second mm -hmm. half, uh, they need to fix that shit. And that's why I chose that for her because you guys had on the <laughs> Thank old. Thank you, channel, Eric. Hey, that's why I'm here. <laughs> because on the on the old channel, before I even knew you guys. You guys had already talked part two, and you know with what happened to the old channel. I I didn't know why she hated it at least at that time. So I wanted to know what the big deal was, and mm -hmm. I guess it's not as bad as it was. There you go. There's hope. That's that's always what this hope. is all about. There's always <laughs> keep hope alive. Keep hope they alive. should remake this movie. If they want to remake a Texas oh, movie, they no. should do this <laughs> to be remade. It's fine. it's fine the way it is. <laughs> no. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Would you say Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 has aged like Boone's Farm? Uh, you know, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, they Lord. need to fix that shit up, man. Yeah. It, oh, has, man. it has aged like fine Texas barbecue. Oh, <laughs> yes. It's all about the meat. <laughs> it is. Oh, man. Wayne's got his that list. Meat tender. Right. You don't want to know what's in those herbs and spices, though. Right? Right? Uh, no, yeah, no. No, I care not to know. <laughs> That's a cool list, Wayne. I like that list. That's pretty yeah, no, good. it's a good list. Let's we'll see there what we're going to do here. What's up, Blucka? How you doing? Blucka has, and I just want to say this real quick, Blucka has become not only the star of a speech as far as giving a thumbs up to videos because he wasn't, he didn't understand how that helps the video, but now he is literally going to get a speech about how he's gone back into like, I don't even know, man, like 10 videos and every comment he has is related to a thumb. And the creativity <laughs> to do that is off the chain. So good that's amazing. Good that's oh, that's very cool. Yeah. Every, every single comment, like he would, he would talk about a thumb. He's like, I never knew how important thumbs were until I used two <laughs> on, on on YouTube. I can only use one, so here's my one thumb. You know, all this type of stuff. Oh man. my god, this that's is what amazing. I'm talking about you're all right, man. You're all right. Okay, so we're gonna start talking about our picks here, man. And obviously, uh, Ben, you're right next to me. So first thing we're going to do, we're, we're going to go one by one. I think we're going to do it that way. So we're going to start with the best horror movie of the 1970s. So and and, and I want to say something too. some of these picks that you guys had. I, I kind of guessed guessed it. You know what I'm saying? So I was really interested in it. This was the easiest one for me to guess. So I'll let you take it from there, Ben. 
Uh, yeah, my favorite horror movie from the 70s, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, it's my favorite horror movie. So, of course, and it's from the 70s. <laughs> the, <laughs> I think that it was uh, the best from the 70s. Uh, there's a lot of great movies from every decade, though. So, uh, But, yeah, for me, I mean, it's Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you know? Nice, nice. Sorry. Yeah, when, <laughs> It's a good Sorry, one. Bro. It's a great no, choice. Saying, it's a good one. It that's is a an good excellent one. one. Yeah, it's a good one, yeah. Right? <laughs> Watch Bat Thumb. What do you guys think? <laughs> Watch Bat Thumb. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Thumb so Wars Mon- is good, too. What? Thumb or Thumb Wars is good, too. That's a Star Wars ripoff. It's the same basic oh, concept. God. No, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you know about that? Oh, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, of course she does. Oh, the only one you know, if you know Kung Pao... Oh, my oh, God. You all know about this. <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> They're awesome because there's Bat Thumb, there's uh, Thumb Wars, Franken Thumb, uh, Thumb Tannic, the God Thumb, and I'm blanking on the sixth one. Oh my anyway. god! Wow, I saw <laughs> that on TV. It, it was on Fox on TV when I was a kid. I thought I was losing my mind, and then one day it's on TV. I was like, oh, oh my god, I did not make this up. It's real. It wasn't a fever dream. <laughs> It wasn't no. a Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, man. It's right. by the guy that did uh, Kung Pao Enter the, Enter the Fist. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought, I thought yeah. it was him. I didn't Why am I not that. surprised? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that does that does make sense. I loved Kung Pao. That was a great one. Uh, awesome. All right. So, Monty, what do we have for you from the 1970s? Oh, come on. Everyone should know this. First of all, I come from a 70s <laughs> I someone, kid. I knew someone would say it like this. And Monty's the one. Go ahead. Yeah. Go everyone, ahead. Should, everyone should know it's, it's my favorite horror movie of all time, The Exorcist. <laughs> hey, very nice. All right. Uh, the power right. of good taste compels you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Good choice, man. Good choice. All right, Eric. What do we what do we got? Well, you know, you know me, Knight. I always usually I, I usually don't go for the obvious ones. Right? Um, my my yeah, favorite we'll from the, my favorite from the seventies, I think it was seventy four, mm-hmm. was a, a movie called Deranged, and uh, no one that I know of really talks about it. It's uh, basically, to in my opinion, the the air quotes closest uh, Ed Gein story that we've we we've gotten. Um, it stars Robert Blossom, who, if you if you've seen Home Alone, he's the old man with the snow shovel, and oh, yeah. it's all, it's 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 all about you know him. Like I said, he was ta- he taking care of his ill mother. She fall, you know, she dies, and he digs her up and keeps her you know comfortable. And then he then he reenacts the the Ed Gein murders, and it's 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 not well known in my opinion, but for a very cheap cheaply made movie the gore i think is great and just watching robert's blossom who steals a scene in every movie he's in whether it's mm. home alone or christine or this it's i think it's a fantastic performance and i think nice. it needs a bigger audience to my in my opinion awesome. very You're cool. right because i I've, I've heard of that movie i've never seen it but yeah not a lot of people talk about the range mm. i i absolutely love it mm. very cool i, I like that's that that's 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 <laughs> yeah uh, Robin has some good picks for the seventies. There, man, it's some good ones. Uh, no, yeah, I saw him. Yes, yeah, man, I'm digging that, including Phantasm. There you go. Hmm? Boy. <laughs> <laughs> that wow. was good, Monty. That was that was good. Good. <laughs> man. Wow. He definitely has the voice for it. <laughs> that was good, man. Wow. Yeah, man, you should have seen the the first time when I saw the trailer of Phantasm, and you know, and uh, the tall man Alex Angus Grimm says that I'm cracking up laughing in the theater. My mom's looking at me, it's like, "Honey, that's not funny." I said, "Yes, it is." (laughs) (laughs) That's amazing. And that and that was what led you on this journey to where you are now, just Uh, enjoying horror. (laughs) Yeah. Nice. All right. So Corey Underwood we got for you for the 1970s i mean like monty said everyone should know this honestly for me at least (laughs) it was scary i mean that movie like brought me into horror when i was really young i was like third grade when i saw that and yeah i loved it and yeah 
That's nice. just my pick. Right. No right. one's going to laugh at you. Pretty <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Now, here, here's my biggest question, because I was, I was wondering this to myself. I mean, it's seven of us. I was wondering if there was a pick, if there would be a unanimous pick or a pick that a lot of us, you know, went for in the decade. So it's going to be interesting to see how that works. I out, say so. no. You don't think so? You don't think there'll be a, a, <laughs> the same pick between any of us? I don't think so. I, I, I don't think so. It may, right. Maybe, but I, I don't think so. Place I mean, your bets a... now. <laughs> yeah, place, your bets. Right. place your bets. Place your bets. <laughs> this, this is what I'll throw out to the chat and even to ourselves if you want, but will there be a movie that at least two or three of us pick for a decade? That that That's a good question. Well, no, I think ben, you and me Ben's might. Ben's like no. So ben, Ben's like no. <laughs> <laughs> I think I I think there might be one, but that's it. One? All right. Yeah, we'll I think out. there might there could be one. <clears throat> Yeah. What decade? What what decade do you think it's nineties? I, I don't remember because because oh. I I got the list but I didn't put them up. So so you th what what decade do you think it, it's from? Yeah, I, I think it's going to be the nineties. Okay. All right. We'll we'll have to find out. We'll have to find out. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Strange Monkey, you are up. Don't disappoint the fan base. What is the best <laughs> horror movie of the seventies for you? Well, you know, I'm I'm gonna throw a curveball at you guys. It, I, I'm not sure if anybody has heard of this movie. It's called Halloween. I don't mean yeah, to right? I don't mean to the point, but yeah, it's about this guy he has no yeah. expression on his face. He wears this white mask and he's uh, going oh, around stalking babysitters all over some town <laughs> called Haddonfield. I heard that trip. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> you call yourself a horror uh, fan and that's your favorite? What the hell, man? I expected well, better from yeah, you. Well, no, you didn't. Well, you know, no, you didn't. That sounds like, <laughs> that sounds you know, I, like I, a I actually problem. thought you were going to pick Trilogy of Terror. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that one. That's an interesting one. But yeah, in all seriousness, that movie is forever a masterpiece. I'll never get tired of Halloween, man. Michael Myers is the champion forever. All right. All right. I don't even Good know for you, say. strange monkey. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Thank All you. right. <laughs> and of course, Triv is following that up. So this is, you, you guys were so funny last stream. So Triv, what are you, and by the way, Stendhal has a really good list here for the 70s too. But yeah, I know, Triv, I saw it, yeah. It's a good one. Oh, yeah, Suspiria is a good right? one. Yeah, Suspiria, right? uh, the Vampire oh. Lovers, Countess Dracula. If we could Dark pick yeah. seven too, we'd have some pretty good damn list ourselves, man. <laughs> Hey, I think our singular picks are pretty damn awesome too. So. I, I think so too. Right. <laughs> okay, Triv. So what 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 do you got? What do you got? I got 1977's House, a uh, Japanese, um, I guess horror movie. You'd say just the mm -hmm. like. It's one of those ones that I first watched on TCM like way back, and I was so confounded by it. I had mm -hmm. to watch it time and time again until I understood what it was, and now I Ooh. absolutely love it. Like. Every part of it is just so incredibly cool. Yeah, that that's nice. a weird one. <laughs> that that's a very a, weird one. That's a weird one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the one where like the cover is just like a fireball with eyes or something yeah. like that. It's, a, it's yeah. a cat face basically with eyes, and then the the name is kind of like a spooky font across the bottom. But yeah, it, it is wow. it is a trip and a half. Like such a like graphically, that's... it's a weird movie. Everything about it is weird. Mm. That's not the one with the uh, with the girl with the floating head, is it? It is no. the girl with the floating head. Yeah. Oh, it is. Oh, okay. yeah. Interesting. And then, like, she, she goes between a watermelon and her head, and then there's like the the body hell? parts are kind of all over the place. <laughs> like, there's a there's like there's like a symphony piece where there's like cat meows and like this lady's like dancing all over the place, and a chick loses her fingers in the piano and. It ate her, wow. and yeah, there's a dancing skeleton that's like one of my favorite characters of all time. So, <laughs> uh, you know, that movie, that movie was uh, was on the shelf for Toho for years, uh, and it was basically the the concept behind it was uh, okay, what if Jaws was a house instead of a shark? That's like that was the question they tried to answer with that movie. Oh yeah, wow. definitely so. And a lot of the scares were based on things that would scare kids, as compared to like things that would scare adults. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Do you have it physically? 
I don't. It's one of those things that's on my list to get, but it's just finding the finding the disposable income to make it to do it. So I hear you. I hear you. I know. What's up? What's up, Steven? How you doing? All right. Okay. Well, so so far we've got for trip, we got house. Strange Monkey has Halloween. Uh Coriander has Carrie. Monty has the Exorcist. Eric, you've got deranged. And of course, Ben has TCM. All right. So my pick, look, I had to be honest about it. This was not easy, though. I will I will say this. It was really, really difficult, and I was going between two picks. But at the end of the day, I had to be real. <laughs> I had to be real with myself. And it's a movie the right that thing. <laughs> strange monkey. <laughs> he, he's just, wait, he's just waiting. He's just waiting. If you say the wrong thing, he might he might scare you in your dreams tonight. <laughs> he, he's gonna have a heart attack. He's gonna have a heart attack. I'm all right. So I'm just gonna say it. I did pick Halloween. All right, I picked uh, Halloween yeah. because look, oh. man. I love this movie. It's still oh. fantastic. <laughs> I watch it every year, at least a couple times. And um, yeah, man, that's just all I got to say about that. So right, Halloween. that's an inspired choice. You know what? Uh, you're the you're a man among men, being that you chose that. I you couldn't have picked a better movie. You know, unlike what Strange Monkey chose. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here with that. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. Uh, Stendhal saying it's kind of impossible for me to pick just one for each decade. I love, I just, I love just too many from the 70s. Yeah, I know, to the 90s. I had, it is you know, I, yeah. I had several uh movies yeah. from the you know, I had, uh, there's a whole bunch of horror movies I loved around the 70s. Mm -hmm. You know, you have yeah, Black, Black, you love the car, Black Christmas, uh, um, yes. you know, Black Alice, Christmas. Sweet Alice. Body ben. snatchers, yep. body snatchers, man. Yeah, yes. This was a. It was tough. I, I really did have to think about it. I really mm. did. All right, guys. This is. Uh, yeah, I knew this was going to be fun. All right, so we're moving to the eighties, Ben. Now, yes. now, now we're getting into you know that golden age, that comfortable time. We had a lot of friends in horror movies. So, what did you pick for your eighties? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think I messaged you and said, like, in five minutes, my list will be completely different. But uh, <laughs> the, list, the list I sent you, uh, it's Sleepaway Camp. First horror movie I ever saw. Nice. Uh, oh, man. Nice. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah, it is a good one. It's campy. It's haunting. <laughs> the ending is effective, <laughs> even though, like, not even from, like, a sub just, like, the execution standpoint, the ending is, like... Still to this day, just uh, off-putting, right? You know that frozen expression of like, yeah, ah, man. The, the sound <laughs> like, ah, fucking yeah. Yeah. As shit. How did, Heck, ah, how did that go, Ben? <laughs> 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 that was good. That was that's that's the highlight of the stream, right there. Is it? Ah, right. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to use that. It's a good pick, though, Ben. I love it. I love it. And as soon as I saw your yeah. list, I was like, "Yep, that made sense." It really, really. That did. was that was so creepy. She's just like, "Hey, hey, hey, hey." Frozen there, and like, uh, <laughs> like yeah, that, and then it's like the frozen like face at the end, just like mm -hmm. sort of fades into credits. Man, that was creepy as fuck. Right. <laughs> I, I, was I agree. Sure I, saw mm -hmm. I saw that uh, at a sleepaway camp. I stayed up with like the older kids and the counselors to watch that at like the sleepover thing. Mm -hmm. And like, I was sure Angela was going to creep into my fucking room in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I know that bitch is coming for me. <laughs> that bitch is coming for me. That's great, man. That's, yeah. why I, that's why I'm glad we're doing this because I knew I'd hear some stories like that. Know. That's a good you know, it, it's, it's amazing. You know, being uh, born in my generation, I had the pleasure of seeing both Carrie and Sleepaway Camp in the theaters and seeing those two nice. scenes at the end and seeing how how the audience skitched out, mm. especially during uh, the reveal of Angela. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and interestingly, like uh, a lot of people, I think, historically have just claimed that it's like 
uh, kind of like homophobic or transphobic. Mm -hmm. But it's actually the opposite. It's about like what happens to someone when you try to push them into a gender role that they don't associate with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and that shit happens. So it's not like there's a crazy like transsexual person killing people because transsexuals are crazy. It's just like that that you force someone to be something they're not and right. they yeah. react with, you know? It's that exactly. fucking ant's fault, man. Oh, yeah, 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 man. It she always was crazy. Oh, we can't have that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we can't have that. I know. Not, let's, not, let's have you be a girl. No, no, no. It's not the ant's fault. Blame the people that ran over um, Angela... Angela's brother or whatever, the, the real Angela in the beginning. Those two idiots should be arrested. Okay, that's what should have happened. It led right. to the craziest plot twist ever. It was crazy, man. No doubt yeah. about it. Oh my god. All you right, know what? Monty. A man in a white mask should go after them and teach them justice. Like Knight's yes. excellent choice. Wow. <laughs> well, I can I can see this is going to be a long running joke. This is good. <laughs> it's the gift that keeps on giving. Strange Buggy is not making a move. All right, I, I'm just going along with it. It's all good. You going? Okay. All right. Monty, what do you got for the oh, '80s? Now it was this. This was actually a tough choice because it was it was either Freddy or Aliens. And uh, I, I had to go with Aliens, mainly because of how much I truly just enjoy that mm. movie. When you talk about something that was at the top, the excellence that the original 1979 Alien was, and the mm -hmm. fact that they only did it, it made it just so awesome, better. And Sigourney Weaver's performance as Ripley just really carries the show. But it's it was just a fantastic movie. I actually saw it twice when I said when I saw it in the movies because I enjoyed it so much. So I had to see it again. <laughs> nice. I had to see it again. So yeah. that's why I had to go with Aliens for eighties. Uh, it's great a choice. great movie, man. I love yeah. that choice. It's a masterpiece. Uh, Thank you very much. And Ka Castellar saying Hellraiser Part One and Two for the eighties. As long as we don't go past three. You're going to be all right, man. Uh, blood, because... No, at the bloodlines. Bloodlines <laughs> 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 just celebrated an, its anniversary. Oh, it did. You have to it remind really? us. <laughs> yeah. It's like, all it for you, all mate. It's all for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was oh, all man. over my timeline. I have no idea why, but it's like all of a sudden I, it was like everywhere. I can't imagine why. <laughs> I didn't know anything. I swear it. I did not swear a blood oath. Hey. Head from number four, I swear it. <laughs> oh, no, they, <laughs> they found out that that's um that's Knight's favorite movie, so they said, "Oh, we gotta put that out there all over Twitter." <laughs> I, I couldn't, I couldn't believe that, man. Like of all the times, like the movie's been out for like ever, and like all of a sudden, like it's getting all this celebratory shit. Come on, we should take credit for that. That's what it yeah, is. No, exactly. It also it's aged like <laughs> Oh man, I don't, I don't even know what to say. All right, Eric, <laughs> save, save, save us from this, Eric. <laughs> make it worse. Make it worse. Make it worse. <laughs> make it worse. Oh, I'm sure we can do that. Trust me, we got you all night. Good. You oh, definitely oh, could. Oh god. Oh, oh, man. This this was this was the easiest category though, or the easiest decade for me. My all time favorite movie or horror movie is from the eighties, and it's the original Pet Cemetery. Ooh, good choice. Uh -huh. You yeah, know, man. it's it's got you know the creepy visuals. We got mm -hmm. you know you got such a really uncomfortable tone watching it from beginning to end. You got that. It's got one of the best openings for a horror movie, in my opinion, where we literally just see the you know the gravestones of the pet cemetery mm -hmm. mixed with the kids reading what they've written on the tombstones. Right. You know, we've talked about Zelda, you know, numerous times, especially in like your uh, twenty. Uh, Scariest moments video. Mm -hmm. um, and then again, I, I like, you know, I like the monkeys, Paul. I've always loved that story growing up. So this is like that story. And then, you yeah. know, it gives you that feeling like, you know, what would you do? You know, mm -hmm. you, you know, you, if you, you, you know, lack of a better term, you know, if you had the chance to play God in this situation, would you knowing that you shouldn't? And, you know, now as a parent, it's, I uh, attach to that, you know, even more. <laughs> Right, and that's what I think makes it such a a good film because it's there's the morality to it, you know, the morality tale to it. But then there's just like you know <clears> what, <throat> like Lewis says at the end, maybe maybe it'll work this time. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So it, mm -hmm. it's just great all around. No fair, no fair, yeah, no, no fair. fair. 
No fair. No fair. <laughs> that was great. First and it definitely language. leaves you with the lesson that you can either totally trust the words of older gents. Mm -hmm. Or you absolutely can't trust the word of older gents. <laughs> uh, Fred Gwynn was was a treasure in that movie. He, he really was. was. He was an absolute yeah. treasure. Don't go down that rod. Oh man! Yeah. When his when he, when when <laughs> when um oh when when Gage like got him from behind like that still sits mm. as one of yeah, those it's, moments. It's, it's, it's still one of those. Ah, yeah, like, it's still one of those cringy man. deaths in a horror movie ever. Absolutely. Yeah. First, I played with Judd. Then I played with mommy. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to play with you. Play with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting creeped out here, Monty. Come on. <laughs> Monty, the man of a thousand voices. <laughs> I know. He's like really going that extra mile. Oh, it. man. We love All you, right. Monty. <laughs> Coriander, what do, you got? what do you got for your 80s? This was an easy one, I know, for you. But what, what do you got? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I picked an American werewolf in London. It's one of my all-time favorites. I love the transformation. I love the music. I love the comedy in this. Like they didn't take the comedy too far, like they did in Texas Chainsaw Massacre too. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. It's a good one. <laughs> what? Wait! Wait! What? What you thought about the sequel? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen the sequel, so I can't answer that. You haven't that. seen American know. Werewolf in Paris? You shouldn't have told me that. <laughs> just, bits and pieces. No. just bits and pieces. I haven't finished it. Because it was oh, terrible, God. honestly. It was terrible. It's such so a I don't even know how it ended. Too. You got to check that out. <laughs> no <for> way. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm all set. Oh, man. <laughs> it, was, it was bad. It was real bad. <laughs> yeah. Can Robin's we, got some. Please get some love for The Howling. That's the best werewolf transformation movie ever. No way. Really? I don't Is think really so. Though? No way. It was too bubbly. So. It was yeah, too I gotta, poppy. Love that transformation. Uh, I think American oh, yeah. Will I mean, takes it I mean, all I the give way. American I give American Will yeah. and London transformation credit, but I just have to go with the howling. I just love that <clears throat> transformation. Always I love it. I can never get enough of it. I saw the howling for the first time last year. And I didn't mind the transformation. The problem was the final product, and I thought it looked more like a pissed off Easter bunny than it did a <laughs> fucking werewolf. Right? <laughs> You're talking about Yeah, you know, had the ear sticking all the way. Uh, and it, no. <laughs> You're talking you about the, the ending? Yeah, you know, the, 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 the ear sticking all the way up like this. Like this. The ear sticking all the way up like this. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah. Oh no! Yeah. Are you talking about the ending with uh, D. Wallace? But, no, there it is. See, I can see. I can see that. I can see, All the I can way see up. That. All that, the way up. That that was terrible. <laughs> the way she, oh, when she man. transforms into a werewolf, that looked terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was man. bad. Oh, yeah. so you should have. You should have saw it in the theater like I did the first time. You would. You would enjoyed it. Ah, oh, okay. All right. I would have won my go. money back. But. <laughs> <laughs> and that's coming from a Joe right? Dante fan. I love Joe Dante. And I watched wow. this last year and I'm just what the fuck? <laughs> you know? They're like, you know? this is unbearable. Get the shot done. Let's end this already. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh hey, you know, they can't all, he can't make winners all the time. No that's mind. right. It's okay. That's right. Uh, oh, it looks we got, like we got dead trolls back in here. Yeah, I think I got it. <sighs> okay. Uh, Wayne Wayne is putting some money on you here, uh, Strange Monkey. So let's see. What do you got for your 80s pick? Man, this was a tough one, I got to say. Um, this was very difficult. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm dressed for the occasion, but I've got to go with <laughs> Evil Dead 2. Dead wow. Dead wow. Wow. What a twist! Wow. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, Army of Darkness was one of my favorite movies, and I didn't even know that was a trilogy. Mm -hmm. So I was like, Same wait here. a minute, what? And then eventually I watched the first one and the second one, and out of that trilogy, I think part two is the best one. Like, they blended comedy and horror together. I and agree. This, this, mm -hmm. this is perfect. It, it is but good. hey, I mean, I'm dressed like Freddy Krueger, and if you never noticed that, uh, when Ash opens the door to the shed, you see Freddy's glove just dangling above him. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, yeah, yep. you do. Yep. Well, yeah. that must mean that your favorite one for the 2010s is the reboot. Oh, <laughs> Stop. Stop. We're, we're staying away from that. 
I just threw up in my oh, mouth shit, a little I'm bit. To oh. my list again. <laughs> what's, what's up, GYTD? I liked it. <laughs> yeah, I know you did. Uh, you stop. I was I waiting for it. I'm sensing a little sarcasm there. <laughs> All right. I do, want, so, I do want to say one thing. Ben said it earlier. I think yeah. uh, uh, Bad Moon has a great werewolf design. Yeah. That's yeah, that's true. another yeah, werewolf that's... movie no one talked about. That's like mm. one point. of the best practical werewolves and one of the worst CGI werewolves. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, 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 tra movie. that transformation <laughs> is worse than the howling. Yeah, oh, obviously we know Curse, oh, Curse is the best one. Curse. I will leave now. I will leave now. <laughs> Was it the one with Christina Ricci? Yeah, that's yes. the one. Yeah. That one has a cool practical werewolf too, though. Yeah. Yeah, it, well, it, it does. It, it, I, I didn't mind Curse. It's one of yeah. my guilty pleasure horror films. It had a lot of if you know the history, too. exactly. If they had left it alone, it would have been great. Yep. Yep. Yeah. They had to cut it. They had to cut it up. Absolutely. Look at this guy, man. He's like, oh, no. did you know that for only a thumb a day, you can change this content creator's life? <laughs> <laughs> you that would right, be excellent man. on a t-shirt. That is great. He's been doing that on a whole bunch of videos. I'm like, dude, you got so much creativity. That's amazing. That's great. All right, Triv. So what do we got for your 80s pick? Let's round this thing out. Well, I'm going with, um, again, probably a weird choice, and I apologize. I love <laughs> Peter Jackson's early works and obviously his later works, too. But Bad Taste is like, I don't know, it just got all those great things and just all the work that went into it. It just blew my mind when I watched it and all the work that went in. At one point, right. he fights himself off a cliff in New Zealand, mm -hmm. and it's like, holy shit, that's kind of awesome. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> all, right. all right. That's what you're apologizing for? Yeah, I'm a weirdo. <laughs> that, no, I enjoyed that movie. You're not too yeah. strange, so. Yay. That's right. It's a good one. Yeah, but, but we love strange, Deb. That's why we love you. That's right. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. It's so, no Meet the Feebles, but it's yeah. it's damn good. Yeah. <laughs> what? The first movie oh, out, no. and all the stuff that went into it. Plus, you know what? You get to see like weird, like chunky ass. I mean, how does does it get better than that? <laughs> does it? Oh man! It depends that's on who a, who's ass the chunks ask. belong to. Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> Good point. Good point. So, I love the poster got... for that movie. So oh, awesome. yes. Oh, it's it's classic, and, man. And that's a classic behind, poster for sure. The story behind the poster. They actually gave him. Um, they actually gave him a second finger for American audiences, so so little old ladies wouldn't clutch their pearls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then you know, uh, if you think about it in a British sense, that's basically fucking telling someone to fuck off too. So <laughs> that's awesome, <Ooh>. right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got bad taste for Triv, Evil Dead Two for Strange Monkey, Monty's got Aliens, Coriander's got American Werewolf in London, Ben's got Sleepaway Camp, Eric's got Pet Cemetery. So so far, we don't have any. Uh, yeah, we don't have any that are picked the same. And we won't after I pick mine too. Mine I went with was John Carpenter's The Thing. Mm -hmm. Excellent oh, choice. Just, Great job. Mic drop. I love mm -hmm. that movie. It's just it's, yeah. to, to me, it's just a, it's just a perfect movie. It really, really is. Uh, bad taste for the win. <laughs> nice. See Triv. There you go. I heard hey. something about a video. Uh, a new one is coming out or something. They're working on a, a follow up. To that one, I'm like, nah, it's been too long. It's been a long yeah. time. I would... That and the, the thing like that made that, it yeah. good was the way it was way back. I mean, the, the yeah, tech no. on that one is what made it good. Right. Well, you got a guy that chainsaws through an entire alien, and I don't know that not that it hasn't been done since, but I think that was one of the more unique ways that they use a chainsaw. So mm -hmm. nice, <laughs> yeah, block of the thing. That's right. We gotta get some love. Dan knows what's up too. There you go. <laughs> I love that movie. Now, it, now would Block great. give those normal thumbs up or like alien, like we like weird alien thumbs up? <laughs> yeah, they've been taken over by the thing. And <laughs> <laughs> he says Hellraiser was a close second for me, and that's okay because you're not talking about Hellraiser four. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> not until we get to the nineties. Exactly. Well, look, <laughs> if any of you guys, if any of you guys punked me and picked that for the nineties, it's just gonna be over. 
<laughs> All right. No one in this group would do that to you, right? No, of course not. We wouldn't do that to you, Knight. No, not at all. <laughs> not intentionally. <laughs> not intentionally. <laughs> if it oh, slips out, man. I mean, what can you do? It's live, you know? Sometimes <laughs> things slip out. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm not yeah, saying a word. <laughs> no, don't, don't say anything. And All that's right. What she said. So we're moving to the nineties. Oh no, <laughs> Ben. This this is going to be an interesting decade. I already know it. But Ben, what do we got for your pick for best horror movie of the nineteen nineties? Uh, yeah, man. Best horror movie of the nineties is clearly Castle Freak. One hundred percent. Love nice. that movie. <laughs> I like it's that. Kind of a weird one, but like it just resonated with me. It was like. Uh, creepy and atmospheric, but like hilarious simultaneously. Mm -hmm. And it's just like so absurd. Like, uh, you know, the castle freak eats a cat and then gets like these superhuman powers. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, uh, what the hell? <laughs> I've still never seen it. Oh man, it's great. Ooh, you gotta it. check that out, Eric. Yeah. Did they nice. just remake it uh, with Jeffrey Combs? I think. Yeah, yeah, I will for, never... yeah. They remade it in. Uh, no, watch he the was, original. He was not in the remake. But... Oh, is he in the original? Okay. He's in the original, but not I will the remake. never get over that remake. That was that was like a bad fever dream. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It took me a while for the remake to uh, figure out if I hated it or liked it. Okay. <laughs> and then oh. I came out on the side of liking it. So. Nice. But it took me a while. I'm like, I, I can't I mean, tell if I hate this or if it's okay. I know the, yeah. the only good thing about the remake is they actually use practical <laughs> effects, but that's about it. Yeah. Uh, that was disturbing. Uh, wow! I felt dirty after watching it. I didn't. I I, I just felt so disgusted <laughs> with myself after watching that movie. I'm like, <laughs> what do I do with myself now? This is terrible. <laughs> I just two Castle Creek remake media books. Two of them. Wow! Really? All right. <laughs> Double awesome, dipping man. on that remake, baby. Sometimes you got to do that, man. Yeah, I did, I did that with the thing, man. I've got like I've got like five copies of that. Oh yeah, I got VHS, it. DVD, that is, two, that's two acceptable, Blu-rays. Sir. Do you have Laserdisc? That's yeah, the beta? one thing I wish I did had. I really oh. do. I got a friend of mine that does. One day I might try to just be like, dude, just take some money for it. Take some money. Do it, man. Do it. Did you pick it up on 4K, Mark? Yes. Yeah, man, I, I love that movie. You know, the um, that one documentary that they have that's like freaking two hours long, um, <clears throat> it's so amazing. It's like it covers the whole thing. It's talking to pretty much the whole cast. It's talking to John Carpenter, uh, everybody. And I watched that a bunch just alone, you know, as a documentary. It's great. A lot of cool shit went into that movie, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So, Monty, what do we got for you for the 90s? I can't remember the damn line. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure got to him. It was, it was ready to go. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> it pushes the lotion on the skin unless it gets the hose again. <laughs> but it pushes the lotion in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> it gets Put the fucking lotion in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> Silence nice. of the Lambs. And it was kind of <laughs> difficult because, you know, uh, there were some decent horror movies that came out in the 90s, but I had to go with Silence of the Lambs mainly because of the uh, performances of um, Anthony Perkins and Jodie Foster and, of course, Ted Levine as Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill, man. <laughs> nice, nice. Very, very what cool. What did you see, Clarice? What did you see? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're freaking Clarice. me out over there, man. <laughs> I ate What's his up, liver Carrie? with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. <laughs> Everybody loves that one. Everybody <laughs> loves that one. Right. All right. Cool. All right. So, Eric, let's do this, Eric. What do you got for your pick for the 90s? Well, I, I know when I sent Knight, well, we all sent Knight our list, and I'm sure I got the biggest eye roll from him. Yes, you I did. Fucking <laughs> Sacrilege. Yeah. Sacrilege. Nah. I oh, picked, no. and the, honestly, the 90s was the hardest for me, because there's so many, and you know me, I always go for the fun factor, so I said, fuck it. I picked Jason Goes to Hell. I did. Uh, I did. Are you telling care. me, can I, all right, let me ask you something. Are you telling me Good that for that's you, Aaron. the best horror movie to you in the 90s? Yep, because it has everything. It has action. It has 
gun uh, shootout. It has characters that I like, characters I really like, <laughs> fantastic gore, body humping, worms, all the fun stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's got it's, Fall, it's got Creighton Duke, who is one of Cre- the Creighton Duke. Characters. He is. He's the best He's thing in the movie. Like, mm-hmm. And like I said, this like, this was hard. I mean, I had, I had like it could have been like Demon Knight is fantastic. I had From Dust Till Dawn. I had The Frighteners. No, they all pale. No, they don't have to and do. Those, none of those movies this, have to it, do. Exactly. It, but <laughs> this is honestly, it, it's the fun factor. That's why I love this movie so no, wait, much. Whoa. There's so much that I can enjoy, and I never get sick of this movie. Now hold on. Well, I'm, what, I'm, yeah, I mean, I I get Eric's point because even though stop it, Monty. <laughs> I get Eric's <laughs> point. Get out of here. I mean, it, it does have some great practical effects. I mean, come on. When that woman gets smashed up in the mouth and her whole mouth is close. Out of 10 <laughs> years. Good. Oh that was great. <laughs> and of course, she, and, was the, and her, she was the character that wouldn't shut the fuck up. How does she die? She has her jaw crushed in. Yes, That's yes. fantastic writing. I will fight you. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> oh man, Eric! If I could high five you, I would totally high five you. Thank you. Wow. Appreciate that. What's up, DMC? I have yeah. no shame in how. Well, you know that in how much I I absolutely love that movie. Oh man, and of course you, you got you movie. got elements of the hidden in in, in uh, exactly elements. The they they totally took it from the hidden. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you know what? That's but okay Jason, because I saw Jason goes to hell first. So it's I, get hey, oh, I get that. I get that. Intimidation is the f- most sincere form of flattery. Yep. Oh God, you guys, come on! Man. Imitation Night as well, but also intimidation. I, re- yeah, no. I, I respect <laughs> that. Look, Night will you, not you, let it go. You, you guys already know. You guys already know. But Eric, I gotta admit, <laughs> man, when I saw that, I thought for sure you were either gonna call me up or text me or something and say. Dude, I was just joking with you. It's not really gonna be Jason Goes to Hell. And I was waiting. I was even waiting right before we went live. I was waiting for you to say, "All right, I'm just joking with you, man. It's not really gonna be that." Oh. Like, Son of a bitch. I love that movie, man. I fucking love that movie. But, okay, now what were your honor? What were the other ones in the? I had uh, uh, the Frighteners. That was great. Yeah, excellent. From, from Dust Till Dawn, yeah. and uh, yeah. the Tales, the Tales oh. from the Crypt movie, Demon Knight. Oh yes. Demon Knight. Okay. So you're telling me from dusk till dawn isn't better than Jason goes to hell? <laughs> I have more fun with Jason goes to hell. Those wow. are all better than Jason goes to hell. Right? I That's just... what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. What's going on? I mean, I mean, put it this way: the, the fright. Eric, the I love your choice, man. That's Good okay. for you. <laughs> I mean, the, the fright. Yeah, it's okay. Demon Knight and and, and the, from Dustin and Dawn's are better than uh, J, uh, Jason goes to hell because you know you know how much I love my vampire pictures mm-hmm. and I definitely love uh, from Dust and Dawn. Uh-huh. I saw just Jason let it go, man. Just let it go. <laughs> I saw just let it go, man. Hell. I got to never let it go. I, I had some. Good, I had some good. I had some good moments, man. I went through a lot of emotions when I read your list, and I was just like, oh, "I bet you did." Good for you, man. Good for you. You got me. You got me good. You know, and, and, and you know, it's got references to. It's got the Evil Dead references. You yes. have the Creep Show crate in the movie. It, you know, yes. it's just a lot of fun. I think just for horror, horror, horror fans. Oh, man. Right. I'll be Whether honest, you want to listen to me or not, it's okay. I know. You. I respect you I know. for that. I know. I know. I saw that for, movie for, when I was 12, and I didn't know what to expect. I see the Necronomicon. I thought Ash yeah. was going <laughs> to pop out in the Voorhees house. I see the exactly. creep show crate, and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> and nothing happened, man. Oh, oh man. man. Oh, man. All right, Coriander, uh, save me. Save me. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, save me. <laughs> tell, tell me the truth. What is the best horror movie of the 90s? <laughs> tell me Please. the truth. <laughs> Please tell me the truth. Uh, all right. So <laughs> I agreed with Monty. I picked Silence of the Lambs also. You See, damn I told right. You. Nice yeah. I told you. Right. I told you. It's going to be the 90s. But I love Eric's me? pick, too. I wish I could change because, Eric, I'd join you, man. <laughs> You know, I you know. You this is live TV, it. Coriander. You can do whatever your heart desires. Exactly. If you want to change it, screw <laughs> convention. Hey. Monty will still respect you. It's okay. No, he won't. No, he won't. You don't speak for him. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, st- you're still on thin ice oh, with man. the Exorcist Two bullshit. <laughs> but, 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 I would, but, but I would not even think. Well, okay, that's a bad comparison. No, actually, no, I, would, I would never think The Exorcist 2 would be even in the top 100 of the 80s best movies. Come on. Oh, anyways. anyways. Hey, night, night. Do, do you need the hose? 
<laughs> oh, oh Lord. my God! This when is when Knight, has to, Knight has to like edit in like a train wreck noise and an explosion whenever we have yeah. these conversations. <laughs> yeah, like this, like a big bomb just went on. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, well, I know we now got our clip for next month, don't we? Yeah, yep. oh, we do. Oh, we do. <laughs> All right. So, Strange Monkey, let's oh, let's let's keep let's keep moving out of dark territory here. What do you huh. what do you what do you have for your '90s pick? <laughs> Well, obviously, life, obviously, it's Hellraiser Bloodline. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. You know what? You know what? No, no. no, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. Just go ahead. I, I, I don't say. think uh, I, I don't think I'll be invited back for the next one <laughs> for the next stream. After that. No, no. In all seriousness, uh, I have to go. <laughs> I got to go with Scream. Uh, that was a game changer in the 90s. It saved the horror genre when horror was in a slump. And uh, Scream's a masterpiece, man. That's right. Wes Craven's one of his best films ever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Blucka says, the 90s has way too many movies to choose from, but I didn't expect Jason Goes to Hell to be picked. <laughs> be, being picked coming. Laugh. <laughs> hey, that's the thing, man. You never know what to expect from us, man. That's the great nope, thing about you, it. You, can, you never can. <laughs> he says, we didn't have to agree, wait a minute. Oh. He says, Wait, what I happened? like the Johnny Depp Sleepy Hollow, so I can't make fun of Jason Goes Down. Sleepy Hollow was good. That was yeah, a great movie. Good movie. Yeah, it was. That was right? a great movie. Oh, yeah. man. We're, lo- we're losing it, man. Cats and dogs singing and dancing. What the hell's going on? Cats and dogs singing and dancing. That's <laughs> hysteria. <laughs> Trip, what do you got for your 90s oh, no. pick? <laughs> we're losing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow. I have uh, The Exorcist 2, 3. There you go. Okay. All right. All right. The, 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 the sequel of The Exorcist. <laughs> Oh, That's yeah, right. Very much. Yeah. I agree with that, and I agree with that because George Yay. C. Scott, rest in peace. He was amazing in that. One he of really my favorite was. Brad Dorf performances is in oh, Exorcist yeah. Three. I agree. He's Absolutely. in it for what five minutes? Yeah. So it says something, right? It's completely mm-hmm. overlooked. Everybody forgets that he's in that movie. Mm-hmm. I, know. I know he was amazing in that movie. He yep. really was. That's a great pick. Seriously. So mm-hmm. Triv has Exorcist Three. Strange Monkey has Scream. Monty has Silence of the Lambs. Coriandi. Has Coriander has Silence of the Lambs. Ben has Castle Freak. Eric has what he had. <laughs> and then and then for me, there's, there's only one answer to this, and that is Silence of the Lambs. Let's, oh, wow. let's, let's be wow. real. <laughs> That's wow. three. Three mm-hmm. for Silence cool. of the Lambs. That's what I figured. I figured yeah, that if Silence okay. of the Lambs in 90s. I you knew that? Two. Okay. Yeah, I knew there that, is. yes. Is if amazing, Scream... If, I mean, because Anthony Hopkins is my favorite actor, man, and that movie that movie literally changed my life. I remember seeing that with my, with my mom and my brother at night. She's gripping my hand because she's, like, so, like, mm-hmm. into it, and it was so tense of a movie, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's still wonderful. It really is. But anyways, nice. all right. We got three for Silence of the Lambs. Woo-hoo. I, won't, I won't put you on the spot, though, Knight. Yeah. All jokes aside, what's worse, Jason goes to hell or Hellraiser Bloodline? <laughs> now, see, when when Strange Monkey said he was going to put Hellraiser on there, I was about to say, you know what? I might have forgiven that more than Jason goes to hell. Um, let me let me think about that. Okay, let me think about, think about because, that too. because wow, you I got to think about that. Well, and I'll tell you why because I've got I come from it from two points of view, right? Because <laughs> for 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 me, Hellraiser. The franchise just took such a dive, right? And it and it really shouldn't have because it started out so well. I love Friday the Thirteenth. You know, the whole franchise is good, and I can even enjoy Jason Goes to Hell. I just don't think it's a good Friday the Thirteenth. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? So I have to think about that. I really do. Look at Strange Monkey. What are you doing, man? <laughs> I'm just listening. I'm just listening. I, I'm not saying nothing. I'm not picking sides. I'm I'm just minding my business. Yeah. Don't mind. He's like, me. I don't, I don't, he's like, I don't want to go to the kitty table. Stop. <laughs> he's like that gif of the guy just eating popcorn waiting for the discussion to end, you know? Right. Right. Just All like. right. So then let's go. Let's go to the 2000s. 
what do we got for you for the 2000s, Ben? This is going to, I actually, this was a fun decade to talk about. Yeah, the, uh, for the 2000s, I went ahead and picked High Tension. Mm-hmm. Great choice. Ooh. Excellent yeah. choice. That was a uh, great choice. I mean, I love that movie. And when it came out, you know, there was like J-Horror was sort of a thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there wasn't like a lot of like amazing foreign horror <laughs> cinema coming out. Uh, and so that one came out and it sort of just like opened up open things up a bit you know i think the the internet was sort of coming into its own so you started like getting exposed to more stuff and uh mm-hmm. when that movie came out uh there's i was in art school when that came out and i was a furniture major i was a, uh so when that came out i was like really impressed with the fact that they decapitated a dude with a piece of furniture <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> right yeah oh, shit man. That was disturbing. <laughs> I know. Oh, I yeah, like, man. whoa. I, I saw that in the theater three times, man. Oh, wow. Each time. Wow. I was just riveted. I really was. It's a great oh. theater movie. It really is. And, of course, there's a that twist that uh, turned a lot of people off. Um, and I didn't love it at first, but it also didn't turn <clears> off <throat> completely. And uh, I came to be okay with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I didn't mind the twist because it, it fits the narrative of the story. Mm-hmm. If it's a narrative story, then it kind of makes sense. And, uh, and I, I can see why some people might not like it because of how it's filmed, because you get it from, um, I forget the woman, the girls, and you get it from her perspective. Right. Mm-hmm. But when you understand what the what the what they were trying to do, that's the reason why for me it works so well because she thinks that she doesn't have this split personality, but unfortunately we when we find out that she does. Right. <laughs> and she right. she like lays it all out when she wakes up from her dream and she's talking to Alex in the car. She's like, mm-hmm. Oh, I had this nightmare that I was chasing myself through the uh or someone was chasing me through the forest <laughs> and it was me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. Just did you did you see that ending? Spoiler, did, you sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> did you see the ending coming when you first saw it? No. Okay. I didn't either when I first saw it. It, it caught me by surprise. I mean, it, it, I think it, it sort of felt when I first saw it. It sort of felt like, oh, come on, dude. I right. really, you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> there's no, there's no way you're going to convince me that that the story you just told uh, ended with that twist you know what I right mean? but the movie is it's, so good you, you can forgive it yeah you know mm-hmm. yeah. yeah it's an ending that just like it grows on you after a while because i you have to backtrack i'm like wait how did this happen if, if this right. is going on and this and that and i'm like oh you know what I, i'm not even gonna bother it, it's fine it's fine right. it's still, right. a, still a great movie yeah it was absolutely really well done it had like amazing sound design too like yeah it mm-hmm. did uh, like beyond the score and the amazing like news was on the soundtrack and stuff, but like mm-hmm. beyond all that, just had like this really cool sound design to it. Um, mm-hmm. You'd have like intense sort of crescendoing static sound. Yep. And, like, <coughs> uh, it was they, great. Man. You notice that they kind of give it away in the scene where um, I believe her name is Alex when she's tied up in the room after everybody was killed, and the main girl comes in and you know she sees her tied up. And as she got closer and closer, she was getting she, loud she, and she was screaming. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and freaking yeah. out. And I'm like, why is she, like, shouldn't she try to stay quiet? And right. it, it was, yep. like, right over my head. And I was like, but of course, okay, whatever. You, yeah, but of course you just think that she's just so traumatized. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's it, that's, that's it, what it, I thought. Put, she was yeah. traumatized. It played really well. Mm. Uh, Lamar says, I love high tension. And he loves Jason Goes to Hell. There you go, Eric. <laughs> hey, man, man, man of Eric culture. Thank you, yes. sir. It's a win-win Dan for is, everybody. Dan yeah. is dropping knowledge because he knows he knows I love Bill Paxton. Rest in peace. Frailty. Frailty. Yeah. Frailty. Ooh, Bill Paxton directed it, and it was a magnificent movie. It really, really was. That's Absolutely. a really good movie. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. very, it very underrated. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. All right, Monty, what do you got for your 2000s pick? For my 2000s pick, a film that everyone probably should love, and I know it's one of my favorite horror films, it's The Descent. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Great choice. Good one. Yeah. Good one. And a, a very good and all-female cast, you know, 
Uh, excellent setup. You know, they go down to these caves and not explored. Next thing you know, we got these uh, subterranean creatures and they're attacking mm -hmm. these, these poor women. And they're truly, truly claustrophobic. Uh, excellent practical effects. You know, mm -hmm. excellent lead uh, actresses, you know, especially mm -hmm. the woman that played Juno. Yeah. Played Juno. Even like yeah. the even like the sequel, too. Yeah, the sequel actually oh, was pretty was good. Awesome. I was actually oh, not seeing surprised. That. Yeah, check out the sequel. Yeah. I couldn't nice. believe I was, that it was good. And that <laughs> was sequel. Good. I was loving that sequel, and then the ending happened, and I was like, oh. <laughs> 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 well, don't it. Don't it. Yeah, I yeah, don't, No, don't what I do no, the that, is what great. I do such a... DMC says, Jason goes to hell. Corey Anderson said, but you get to see Jason's reflection. Laugh out loud. Right? Lumpy ass headed reflection. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come <Yeah>. on, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Katie? Katie's in the chat, too. Casper says orphan. Orphan, there you yeah, go. Orphan was good. Ooh, very good. I'm not surprised how much I like that one. <coughs> right? And they're doing the yeah, no, I, I, I still haven't seen that. Coming out. Well, you gotta Ooh. see it. You gotta see it. Gotta Is that supposed orphan. to be a, a prequel, right? First yes. kill or something? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Uh -huh. Orphan first kill. It's gonna be interesting to see because she's older now. So I don't know how right. they're gonna do uh Isabel Furman, how they're gonna de age her. She still she still looks young though. They're gonna use they're gonna use uh you know camera tricks kind of like they did in Lord of the Rings and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. um she looks young, but she looks a lot older than she did when they made that. <laughs> true. No, yeah. true, true, true. Yeah, no, I, I agree. It's called that. movie magic. If there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> I mean, they did it with <laughs> night or eighty year old people in the Irishman, they can probably do it here. So there you go. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> Too funny. All right. So, Eric, what do we got for your 2000s pick? Uh, this one was actually really easy. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. I picked The Devil's Rejects. Ooh. Hey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, you, it's a good one. You, you have redeemed yourself. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I, was, I was very worried. You know? <laughs> um, fantastic cast. Um, it's gritty. You got that grindhouse feel. Mm -hmm. And it does a good job of making these despicable, vile, disgusting characters, air quotes, likable. You right. want to follow them on their journey. And it does a really good job of making William Forsythe, the lawman, become the villain. Yeah. You know, regardless mm -hmm. of what why he's after these guys, you know, it's it's, it's revenge. But he mm -hmm. he he crosses that line that a lawman shouldn't do. And it's just, you know, he Everyone loves Bill Mosley. They love Sid. You know, their performances. My favorite performance was from William Forsythe in that because of yeah, how sure. he went from the very beginning to his very end. And it's just it's just so much. It's so it's just so good all around. And I, I've loved it ever since I saw it in theaters. Oh, dude, he was he, he's, he's he's in here. Been, yeah. Hey, what's going on? Devious the diva. diva. Yeah, man. No, that's a good pick, though, Eric. I, I really do like that. Mm. Um Coriander, what do you got for your 2000s pick? I have Saw 2. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. It's a good one. Yeah. I enjoyed yes. that one. I just saw like all these movies, like I don't know, within the last year. So, yeah, mm. I was late to the game. But That's I really okay. enjoyed the second one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's most right. of the movies I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Bubba Hotep. All right. That's a great one. one. I love oh, yeah. that movie. Yeah. Oh, man. I love Excellent that movie. movie. Yeah. 28 Days Later. Yeah, man. We just had some fun with that episode. Cool. Very good. All right. So, Strange Monkey, what do we got for you for the 2000s best horror movie, in your opinion? Man, I would have said Jeepers Creepers, but then along came a little movie called Saw, and <laughs> it blew me away. Nice. I saw it on TV once, and I felt like I was in that room, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, I, I was so pulled in by that story, the plot twist, everything was perfect. Jigsaw is the mm -hmm. icon for the 2000s because we didn't really get a lot of that, mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. I mean, there's way too many Saw films now, but that first <laughs> one is just golden, nice. golden. Nice. The thing right. that's good about Saw, though, is like, okay, there's a cool twist ending and everything, but then if you, like, sit there and think about it for a second, like, why the fuck is that the twist? Like, why he had to take, like, muscle relaxers 
and like to date himself <laughs> lie on the fucking cold ass floor <laughs> for what purpose? Yeah. Like, for what end, dude? <laughs> Imagine if, if one of those yes, accidentally you know, that's, saw him that's, move. Because I, I, that's funny. Because that's what my wife said when she when we went to go see Saw. She said, "How that? How can he just lay there on the floor all that long time <laughs> and not?" Ben, that, that was great, Ben. He was like, "To what end?" Why did you do that? He, that's not a mastermind move, dude. Come on. He takes the MST3K philosophy of it's really just or uh, it's just a show you should really just relax kind of philosophy. I think, yeah. I Game over. Oh, I'm gonna get this practical effects done. I'm gonna lay in this cold ass blood puddle. Could you Maybe imagine he if he accidentally got shot in that? Like when when they were all fighting and struggling. Uh, yeah. Somebody accidentally fired off a shot. <laughs> oh, it jigs on the head. There goes right? the movie right there. <laughs> oh, man. That would have been a twist Wait. right there. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Whoops, there goes your plan. Oh, man. <laughs> that movie, though, I, love the, I did um, it again. For that movie, I love the how like small budget it is but like the execution yeah. is really good you know it is mm-hmm. like there's yeah. a car chase scene that's just them sitting in a car like zooms in on like you don't see the car driving at all it's just them going like oh but it feels yeah. like a car chase you know? right. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, strange monkey knows how it knows how it goes if you watch strange it, monkey, you watch you're it in a the... car chase <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Let me let me uh, set the tone because that whole movie is in uh, is in green. Give me a second here. Oh, go. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Watch that movie with the commentary. They explain that it's just them, you know, not even dry. Oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> they, made, they really made the most of what they had, and the movie was very effective. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I really agree. God, yeah. thanks, Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this. Y'all made my evening. Oh, hey, we man, do what we can. Right? Oh, right. it is. It is a service we provide. Right? Yes, <laughs> pretty much. Oh shit! Yay. Online strips without clothing, guys. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, I know the real <laughs> trick is doing it with clothing. I know, right? That's the offline strip. <laughs> how, do, how do I get my face to do that last emoji there? <laughs> the kind of tongue out like, yeah. Oh god, <laughs> man! If, if you if you start doing that trip, that's gonna be crazy. <laughs> Literally. Uh, give me like two hours, and I can I can try and do that. <laughs> oh gosh! We'll see her on her next her next video. <laughs> she got a, she got a tongue out. <laughs> Deadly Venom's After Dark uh, yeah, exactly. available only on oh, Patreon. Wait. Yeah, trivia theater. Right. After Dark. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Cherry Falls. Lamar is talking about Cherry Falls. I haven't seen that in a long time. I remember liking it though. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Triv. So, what do you got for your pick? I have to follow the wise and very good-looking Monty. I've said The Descent. Ooh. It's such a great movie. I just, I get, not very many horror movies get to me, but the way that they did that and the use of light and just mm-hmm. it felt real. It didn't feel like oh, all of a sudden, hey, look at all this extra food I have, and mm-hmm. like the way stuff goes down. It just, I don't know. I, I just. Is a horror movie along or among horror movies for me? Nice, nice, very, very Jeez. cool. All right, all right. So uh, let's go over this again here. So Trip says the descent. Strange Monkey said Saw. Monty said the descent. Coriander said Saw Two. Ben said High Tension. Eric said Devil's Rejects. And I am going to go with the descent. Wow, <laughs> that movie. And this is a movie I, I saw it in the theaters. It totally blew my mind, and it became a movie that I would watch uh, every every Halloween. It, it was just that good of a movie, and man, it it doesn't it hasn't lost anything for me. No, it's just it, a it great still holds movie. up today. Yeah, it's excellent. It's and if you watch movie. it, especially if you watch it with a group and you're watching it in a dark room, yeah, gotta watch it in the dark <laughs> with, with, with some good sound. With some mm-hmm. good sound, if you got yeah. surround sound, that's great. But at least good sound. Man, it just takes you. It takes you there. It's great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do Do you really think we it. got cheated because you know that you know because the British version is different than the American version? Do you think we got cheated? I got well, both versions, man. Mm-hmm. I haven't right? seen the British one. 
Um, is the British one better? Yeah, well, I don't know if we got cheated, Monty, but what you you think? Obviously, you think we did. Um, it, it just said I, I guess because the British were more inclined to think that that was a better ending for that uh, movie yeah. as opposed to the American version where they actually just cut that part out. Right. To be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, uh, I agree. You, you, I mean, you didn't. You didn't know about the British ending, uh, Triff. I didn't. I. I guess I. Yeah, that's. I, there's a lot of trivia I don't know, despite my moniker. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when you say that. You uh, no. know a lot of stuff, girl. Come on. <laughs> Jeez. Well, you. Ha- well, listen, Triv. Though you should. You should check it out. It's probably. Yeah. I bet you. I bet you could find it on. Probably on YouTube. Yeah, you, you, you can find it. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure you can I gotta find check the out the sequel too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but check out check out the the alternate ending, and then if you get a chance, let us know what you think because I'd be yeah, curious to see absolutely. what you think. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, it's a great movie. So the descent has three picks. Woohoo! All right, hell yeah. Okay, all right, guys. So we're going to the 2010s, and Ben, let's start this thing off. What do you got for your favorite horror movie of the 2010s? <clears throat> There's like a lot of movies that sort of stick out in my mind as like. Uh, good important movies horror movies from the 2010s mm-hmm. uh but i went with hereditary man i think Ooh, hereditary is one of the best horror movies of the last 20 years mm-hmm. very cool very very mm-hmm. cool it's like i like it excellent everything about it's excellent man mm-hmm. regardless mm-hmm. of what patrick says it's great <laughs> <laughs> that's funny you <laughs> said that the, uh, <laughs> the performances were amazing yeah and I, I still haven't recovered from <laughs> haven't recovered from it. <laughs> I will that's never that's recover 20, from that, hereditary, man. That, that's a twenty-four for you. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. I, I always say, just set she's out crawling her, on the ceiling like ruined. Spider-Man. I, I was yelling at my my screen. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Very good pick, man. All right. So, Monty, what do we have for you for your pick for the 2010s? This was a tough choice because there were a lot of good horror movies that came out during this decade, you know, between It Chapter One and Two, Us, Get Out. But the first movie that actually made me jump since Insidious was Hereditary. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. Two. We got two. <laughs> Hereditary. We got two. Uh oh. I mean, All right. Not, not just. And I mean, I still can't get over Charlie's clucking. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> mm-hmm. But, see, but seeing Tony Collette do the spider crawl on mm-hmm. top yeah, of that man. ceiling on that oh, day, yeah. I was like, "Whoa, <laughs> that, that, that just got me!" I, I was not expecting that because he did, right. and he did a good job of setting it up too. Mm-hmm. When, oh, yeah. I, when I saw that in the theater, uh, I saw her up in the corner, like, a, like well, well before uh, everyone else in the theater. Uh-huh. And it was so much fun hearing the gasps from like all around. Oh yeah, <laughs> like, like, people were seeing her because uh, it was just so much fun. Man. Yeah, because I, yeah, I, I love when you get an effective jump scare like uh, the jump scare in Insidious, or even with the jump scare in Carrie, and it, you see the whole audience reaction. Even mm. even with some of the stuff that happened in The Exorcist, you get the whole audience just freak out. That's just mm-hmm. an amazing scene. To, <laughs> And to experience, <laughs> right? And like the, the surround sound, you get Charlie. Like you, you get you, you just hear like the you hear yeah, it no. like mm-hmm. back here, and you're like motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> God damn with the goddamn clucking. <laughs> I, I did that on down. purpose in the theater. I did that on purpose during a scene where it was really quiet, and I went, and somebody was like. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's great oh my gosh very very cool all right so man hereditary is is moving okay so eric what do we have for your 2010s pick um uh, my pick was uh I, I a lot of people have already said it in the chat but i i went with cabin in the woods Ooh. Oh, that's that was amazing. Yeah. That's yeah. such a good movie, yeah. man. Mm-hmm. Such, such an a origi- great mix. Such an original mm-hmm. concept. Yes. Great homages to past horror films. I, I'm a sucker for not just you know Evil Dead, but Cabin in the Woods type of horror mm-hmm. movies. I, I love that type of stuff. Let's get this and then party started. <laughs> I loved yeah. the twist. I, for some people who haven't seen it, I loved the twist as to why it was happening. Yeah. And then I absolutely loved how it ended. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I didn't I see agree. that coming at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, neither. Did I, I, I did was, not expect that ending. 
it was a fun movie from beginning to end. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was great seeing, you know, the only person I knew other than, I won't spoil the cameo for anyone that, that hasn't seen it, but it was right. cool seeing Chris Hemsworth not being Thor and actually yes. being a likable character. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? So <laughs> yes. it, it was just a, a lot of fun. And yeah. it's a perfect DVD Blu-ray movie because it's got so many moments to pause. You know mm. what I mean? Because you got oh, yeah. so much shit happening in the background. And j- just that scene alone, when they're picking the different monsters, you know, and that, yeah. that one scene, you have to pause it and zoom in just to see the hundreds of different creatures that, yeah. that didn't make the cut. You know what I mean? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Dude, the merman was like so worth waiting oh, for. That was yes, so it awesome. was. And I love how they built it up too, man. Exactly. That was so great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, you, I just, uh, you get to oh, see. Come on. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, me, I, I'm the father of a of a ten year old girl, so you know she loves you know the pretty stuff, the, the unicorns and all that. And I got to see a unicorn fucking impale somebody. You know, what I mean? <laughs> so that was kind of cool to see. You know, the the non cutesy stuff from a yes. unicorn. Yes. I was surprised I, I wanna... to find out that a lot of people actually hate that movie. Really? Yeah. Yeah. The know. ending. I, oh, I, I, I love the funny. ending. But like a lot of people I... are like, "Oh, Cabin in the Woods, I hate it," and I'm like, "Really?" Wow. Okay. I do want to say happy. that the uh, the person that made the cameo in that mm-hmm. movie, I noticed that there was a period of time where this person kept coming out in different movies mm-hmm. and was an antagonist in all these movies. I'm yep. like, stop doing this to me. You're supposed to be saving the day in these movies. Like, <laughs> right? stop hurting my yep. soul. You're supposed to yes. be saving us. Stop this. Yeah. <laughs> You're, you're disappointing me. If you can have a certain actor be a bad guy like in um, What Lies Beneath, mm-hmm. then you can have yes. that certain actor be a bad guy in this movie. Good point. Oh my God. Also, like, also That's a really good that, example. Was mm-hmm. that cameo actor person? <laughs> just, I don't know why I'm we're fucking. This movie came out how many years? That's ago? True. That's true. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. But was was that person actually an antagonist? You know what I mean? Well, that's true too. Yeah, they were doing what they had to do. Yeah, yeah that's true yeah, too. That is, that is a good that, point. That gray area. Yeah. Yeah, to call upon the wisdom of Obi Wan Kenobi, it's truth from a certain perspective, or Ooh. it's good from a certain perspective. Good call, good call. Yes, that is. I true. love that part. The harbinger on the speakerphone. That was some funny shit, man. <laughs> that was a great movie. It really was. Very, very cool. Okay, all right. So, Coriander, what do we have for your pick for the 2010s? The Conjuring. Yeah. Oh, yeah, boy. Excellent. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Yeah. I love a good ghost story and oh, man. these movies. They're really good. So, yeah, yeah man. Gone from to clicking it. to clapping. Uh, yeah. no. That's right. <laughs> clicking to clapping. <laughs> I like that. Want to play hide and clap? <laughs> that was yeah, such yeah. a great scene, too, man. Mm-hmm. I know. It really was. A, a, a night, you know, when, you know when, the, when she mentioned the conjure, you know that brings me up with you and your uh, stream with Gory. <laughs> 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 yeah. Because I, I, uh, I knew the minute when she was going to, uh, when she's going to talk about her um, next one, I knew, it's go- I knew she's going to say the conjuring because I know yeah. she doesn't like it. <laughs> yes, yes, mm. yes. But it was a good reason, though, and I totally understand. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know the reason why she doesn't like it. Mm-hmm. Yep, absolutely. All right, that was a good choice. So, Strange Monkey, Strange <laughs> what do we got for yours for the 2010 uh, best horror movie? Before I uh, I say which one it is, I, I saw earlier, I think it was Ben and Triv that mentioned the movie called WNUF Halloween Special. Everybody needs to check that movie out because it's really good, very creative. Mm-hmm. It's uh I, I would say it's it's a movie similar to Blair Witch as far as realism goes. So mm-hmm. check that one out. But anyway. If you were alive and watching TV in the early nineties, late eighties, then it is like a super nostalgia fest. It is like yeah. someone recorded something off the TV. It's such a time warper. Nice. Yeah, it's just amazing. look at some screenshots. It looks like it's straight out of like the seventies or eighties. Nice. It's mm-hmm. super yeah. I, I love the execution. I felt like the resolution was a little lacklusterous, but it was such a fun ride. I didn't care. Nice. I agree. Um, this was this was another tough choice. You know, I, I almost went with Insidious. I almost went with Hereditary, but uh, I got to give this one to It Follows. 
Ooh. Ooh good. Very yeah. creative movie. I didn't yeah. even know about it. I saw an ad on Facebook. I'm like, what is this? And I was the next thing you know, I was racing to the theater. Mm-hmm. And I love the movie because it's so mysterious. You're mm-hmm. trying to figure out yeah. what is happening, and then by the time you get to the end, you realize what's happening, but it's still a mysterious movie, even at the end of the movie. And everybody wants a sequel. I was like, no, no, no. I don't want that. I don't want mm-hmm. any of that. <laughs> and the soundtrack. <laughs> perfect. Yeah. The soundtrack is great, man. Yeah, I know. Like, it totally had Carpenter vibes all over that. Uh, game, I, I, man. I, I did get it. some Carpenter vibes. Um, yeah. I, I did get a little bit of like Halloween. Like, you know, there was a little, some elements from Halloween in that movie. Yeah, but, most definitely. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Great movie. Great, and the way it was movie. shot with Detroit, like it's incredibly cool the way that they did that. Like it just, you see this, this wide open, you see Detroit as it is, as compared to being romanticized. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yep, absolutely. All right. So Triv, what do we got for you? Well, I was trying to decide how to go because like there's so many great, like good, bad horror, like Santa Slay and Lamageddon and such. But ultimately, <laughs> come on! I watch Santa Slay every Christmas. Oh, it's such a great movie! Uh, swear to God. <laughs> ultimately, though, I went with Hereditary because I Tony Collette in that movie is so amazing. the The way that the movie starts, pulling out, and it looks like a dollhouse, and then it turns out that it's actually like full sized. Mm. I just my mind was that blown was cool. by the way it was shot and just everything. That I wasn't crazy on the ending. But the rest of it was just amazing. Like it's just so cool. Yeah, mm. yeah it was really it, good. I, I can't, I can't believe she didn't get nominated at least for an right? Oscar. That was that was one of the biggest yeah. snubs in our generation. I think. Yeah, no. Do you think it's because I it was agree. a horror movie? Yep. Oh yeah. yeah. I think so. yes. a, it was a horror movie. Yeah. You know, there's no well, other reason. Patrick's main critique of it was that her performance sucked. <laughs> Did he really say that? Yeah, that was like, wow. he was like, oh, she was terrible on oh, it. No, I yeah, like, no, no, but, no, we, no, you know Patrick. Oh, Patrick, man. Patrick hates all A24 films. Hold on one second, because Patrick, I mean, because obviously, Ben, when, we, when we've done our stuff for the IFC stuff, I know, and he's said it many times about Hereditary, but I didn't know that that was his biggest critique was Tony Collette's performance. Yeah, he mentioned it when he was doing the IFC thing. Uh, like, before we, we went on, he was like, oh, yeah, she was awful in it. And I was like, really? <laughs> He's like, oh, she was way over the top. And I was like, I thought she was pretty fucking I disagree. Bad. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, maybe the I scene alone where that. she yells yeah. at, at her son where she's saying, I am your mother. That whole scene yes. alone. That, yes. That's where yeah. she, yeah, no, that's I thought great. to myself, give this woman an Oscar. Yeah, that's just great acting, yeah. man. Like, seriously, she was uh, just thinking about it, just gives me the chills. Uh, nope, and you're telling me there's anyone else that can crawl on the ceiling the way that she can? <laughs> I'd like to see Sissy Spacek try that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what a ability right there! <laughs> All right, it's right. hard to, work. To, uh, Cribs, uh, ending critique that was my only con- that was my only thing with Hereditary. I felt like, uh, it. it didn't end quite soon enough. You know what I mean? It was yeah. like, peak, yeah. and then it kept going for just kept a little going. too long. Yeah. But, yeah. Like, was uh, it like it actually, couldn't end fast enough? Like, Texas Chainsaw 2 couldn't right. end fast <laughs> enough? Or? Yeah, well, well, Texas Chainsaw for, 2 could have, oh, should, no. should have ended yeah. five minutes in. The ending for Hereditary oh. started five minutes after the beginning. So, it was weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, Triv, we've got Hereditary for you. Or Santa Slay, either or. Stop. <laughs> hey, Santa Slay is awesome. Strange it is. Lucky has yeah, I, I like Santa Slay, too. I mean, some there was someone that was killed with a menorah. I mean... <laughs> you have a Jewish pro wrestler playing a killer Santa Claus. Yes! I know. <laughs> that alone. Was it, wait, I'm, I'm confused here. You said 2010s for Santa Slay? Oh, shit. Do it, it was it was 20, 2005, wasn't it? It's okay. I'm it's sorry. so awesome. It, it can go uh, yeah, forward. It, it's, can it, though? Yeah, it's, can it really... Okay. Yeah, no, because it's okay. uh, the reason why I like Slander Slay is because I like the concept uh, of the mythology about how you how Santa Claus became Santa Claus in that film. I, yeah, I he lost, he right lost a credit. curling game. 
<laughs> that yeah, movie's man, amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> Everybody was was hating on that movie when it came out. I was like, this is awesome. I loved it ever since <laughs> I first saw it. And, 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 how can, and, still... how can, and how can you not love that beginning of the film? You have all those stars getting ripped apart. That's by awesome. Bill Goldberg. <laughs> it's oh, Bill wow. Goldberg as Santa Claus. Like, come on now. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we got It Follows for Strange Monkey. We got Hereditary for Monty. We've got The Conjuring uh, for Coriander. We've got Hereditary for Ben, and we've got Cabin in the Woods for Eric. So we've got three for Hereditary. Um, this was this was probably the, one of the toughest ones for me because there were so many good ones um, in, in the decade. I, I truly loved It Follows. I truly loved Cabin in the Woods. Um, and, and obviously Hereditary was great. But I got to go with The Conjuring. And Another good choice. The Conjuring, mm -hmm. for me anyways, um, seeing it in the theater, that was another movie like The Descent that every year, like, and, you know, I'd have some some friends over, family mm -hmm. over, whatever, to watch, you know, some scary movies. The Conjuring was always just a good, just a good one that we would throw on because it was just so well done. Um, that's all I can really say. James Wan, he just hit a home run with that damn movie. I yeah. love it. I love mm -hmm. it so much. Yeah. But it was close because I really, I really, truly love all the other picks, like I truly loved It Follows. I absolutely love Hereditary. Like, you know, like mm -hmm. Ben was saying, every time we get into a conversation with Patrick about it, I'm like, are you kidding me? This movie is great. <laughs> I, and I can't I can't believe he doesn't like it. It's crazy. But, you know, it is what it is. But, um, yeah, I'm going with uh, The Conjuring. But so out of this list, the we, ha we actually had a lot of ones that were uh, – doubled or tripled mm -hmm. we had we had mm -hmm. three for silence of the lambs in the 90s we had three for the descent in the 2000s we had two two for halloween in the 70s and we had three for hereditary in the 2010s the only decade where nobody picked the same thing and actually that makes the most sense is the 1980s that, to, to, to me awesome. that makes the most sense <laughs> it, it, no seriously you know, it, it, it's crazy nobody picked the same say... movie for the 80s I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed that nobody got to pick Jaws. Nobody said Jaws, and I couldn't do I was this. Surprised. You know, like I, 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 I was Andy gonna Grant. start doing Quint impressions, <laughs> talking to birds. There's no killing the vibe in the night watch zone, Chief. When the sharks watch a live stream, it always is. I wanna go home. I'm tired and I wanna go to bed. I think it's not strange monkey's bedtime. <laughs> All right, I'm done. What's going on? Who's 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 going on? Trev, you gotta make an animation where you move around like a certain way when you're laughing like that. Oh my god. She got trip. She got trip. Oh, I gotta man. calm down now. Wow. Trip, we gotta get, we gotta, we gotta, you gotta get, get another clip for you. To, you gotta get, yeah. She gave me another clip. There you wow. go, mate. That's the highlight right there. Oh, Very <laughs> much, man. Wow. She literally lost it, man. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'll just uh, I'll do this for the rest for the remainder of the stream. Don't do that. Do that. <laughs> she said go. don't do that. <laughs> Good. I will say, Strange Monkey, I'm surprised you didn't pick Shark Exorcist. Oh, geez. no, we don't need, we don't, oh. no, we don't need to go there. We don't need to go there. No, I'm good. <laughs> Am I watching Adult Swim? <laughs> House Shark. See you later, TYTD. It's been a blast, right. guys, but I got to bounce. Hope you all have a great upcoming weekend. Stay safe. Absolutely. <laughs> And we're not going in the water because Strange Monkey is lurking. <laughs> <laughs> He's always lurking. We're going to start calling He's him Bruce. He's not only got teeth. He's also got a razor sharp hand. So uh, <laughs> double threat there. I, I look like something straight out of a Wild Eye movie right now. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yep. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, speaking, of, spe speaking of a Wild Eye, so, Eric, are you gonna are you going to start doing some more reviews? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah, you are. Dude, that was like the funniest oh. thing. Because as you were talking, I could just see the disgust yeah. 
coming oh, out man. of your eyes. Yeah. You picked the great. wrong Wild Eye movie, Eric. <laughs> that was great. The, yeah. the I, I said if I got more requests, and a lot of people were messaging me, and I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait until um, Amityville in Space comes out. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, that I one. totally want to cover that. That was so uh, good. Too, too. Monkey. Oh, my God, man. I'm Speaking just like, of, I'm um, guy. we didn't say uh, we didn't have our choice for uh for next month's bad movie, and the only person left is, is Triv. Now wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, bef- now let me ask you before you say it. Mm-hmm. Do you have something in mind? I do. And okay. le- unless someone else does. No, no. Well, okay, well someone may. But remember okay. who you're who you're putting this choice to. This is. Mm-hmm. You have to, under- you have to understand. <laughs> Triv loves bad movies. Exactly. So, I know. <laughs> so, I know. so we got we got to make this count, Eric. Yeah, well, she gotta- she may love this, you know, but I know for a fact she hasn't seen it yet because okay. her and I have been conversing about it. Okay. I'm making her watch the Jurassic Dead and to find out if she enjoys Ooh. it or not because she has seen a clip of it Ooh. and she knows Challenge what clip accepted. I'm talking. I get the feeling that as much as you didn't like Jurassic Dick, I got the feeling Trip will love it. <laughs> and, you know, she may, she may, you know. So, sometimes I pick these because people have never seen it. You know, Ben ended up having a good time with Troll 2 as much as right? a piece of crap that movie was. Oh, totally. But, you know what? You know, I, I and this was tough because I'm just now like watching the older videos of Triv, and she's reviewed a lot of garbage. <laughs> and she's enjoyed a lot of garbage. Yeah. So I knew I'm like, okay, this is my one chance to, my to one finally chance. find a movie that she hasn't seen that she may enjoy, but quite possibly won't. Oh, <laughs> it it sort of gives me like just the way that the the clip that you showed me mm-hmm. kind of gave me like um amazing bulk vibes. Just the fact it was all green screen. <laughs> <laughs> like the, not 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 the kind oh, of green, Lord. not the kind of animation, but just like the the way it was done f- felt that mm-hmm. same kind of way. So you, you, right. are you look, not talking about the incredible bulk bulk? Are you? Yeah. Did no, I say Hulk? Is... I'm sorry. Well, well, I'll I'll say this. The, the, the and I'm putting this in air quotes. The CGI in, in in Jurassic Dead is a step above Amazing Bulk, but you know they had an extra fifty cents. So what, yeah, what exactly. the fuck does that matter? <laughs> That's like comparing gonorrhea to syphilis. Exactly. Oh, it all oh my god. <laughs> Oh, you still gotta go to the clinic either way. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh man! Oh man! Uh, you, you know, Triv. The first thing the, when you said that, the first thing came to my mind was Jen. <laughs> Sorry. Oh man! The ginger hey, dead man versus evil If you're gonna, if you're gonna compare really terrible things, you might as well go hardcore. Yep. I guess so. You did. You went there. Yes, I did, you and did. I'll go there again if required. <laughs> we know you will. We know. We know. No, see, see, now, see now, you, this is this, mm-hmm. no. See, if you want to have a good laugh, because uh, when uh, I, when, when I had Triv guest uh, guest on the uh, the the hard hangouts that I do with uh, Sean and uh, Jen, mm-hmm. views in the grave, you mm-hmm. get her and Jen together. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. You might lose oh, your channel. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. We would gosh. never do anything. You know that. Terrible, uh, intentionally. <laughs> intentionally, it just happens naturally. Why don't I believe you? I, I, try, uh, I try. I try. Challenge accepted, right? Well, you know, right? check out. Check I, I, out I need to brief. take. I, I, I need. I need to take this off before Trim loses her mind again. <laughs> <laughs> if you watch the replay when Trim was when Trim was on was on the was on our stream. Then uh-huh. you'll see why. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I, I that was nuts. That I think I saw some of that. I, don't... I mean, it was it was it was bad enough because we had that wild wild night that Thursday mm. on our stream, and then mm-hmm. the next night Trip was on our stream, and then it's like, oh man, two nights in a row. <laughs> Trip is like, I'm I'm having a party this week. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Work hard, it. play hard, right? There you mm. go. But I will definitely be interested to see what you've got to say the next time we all get together because, nice. yeah. Mm-hmm. What, we, what we should do is like have, have a side-by-side clip of you and Eric talking about the movie and just if to get the different to. vibes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Eric. All right, guys. No, 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 no. I, even, I was even joking with, with Triv. Like, you know, I said, hey, if you ever want to re- re- want to collab and you do it on your channel, I'll be glad to just be like, hey, Eric, you want to discuss dressing then? I'm just going to say, nope. And that's <laughs> like, the, the hey, video will start and end right there. Nope. Yep. 
<laughs> Thank you all for watching. <laughs> oh shit, that's great. Ginger Dead Man Two: Passion Dude. of the Crust. See, I told you it was of called those, Passion of the Crust. Of those, oh of the God. Ginger Dead movies, number two is by far the best. I yes. think. Because it's pa- oh it parodies itself, like, mm-hmm. but then three is an absolute. I don't even know. It's 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 such a dumpster fire of shit. I, I don't even know how else to describe it. <laughs> yeah, well, no. you just did. <laughs> yeah, you did. Right. Yeah. Exactly. You totally I did. Because I was I was watching that review you did of that. You just had me cracking up because it's like, oh man, how how much back can this series can get? <laughs> and then it does. <laughs> and then it does. The only thing that was missing was Gary Busey. That's why it wasn't good. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. you're right, actually. If he was in there and, and and if Ginger Dead hadn't had the weird teeth, like the weird teeth just were so unnerving. It's like, what the hell's going on with your teeth? <laughs> well, would you rather they had Gary Busey's teeth? Ooh. No, they changed them from the the like the previous one. They they on changed the up one. the design on the on the puppet. No, I think mm-hmm. the second one had relatively like the same design. But three, they got on like the yeah, bad you, acid. Yeah, no, because the they changed the because both Ginger Dead Man and Ginger Man Dead Man Two, the puppets looked the same. But the third one, they they definitely they definitely screwed that over. Yeah, and Who's from what I've heard, uh, Ginger Dead versus Evil Bong, like it gets even worse. Like the look of the Ugh. face and stuff. Oh man, those aren't wild eye movies, are they? No, thank no. Christ. <laughs> I don't remember who did them. Oh, it's, uh, it's um, it's um, Full Moon. That explains it. Yeah, full moon. <laughs> that explains it. There are Definitely. some good movies from Wild Eye. I will, I will say that. I, I, you know what? I've, I've said yeah. that before. I've said that before. You know, I've, I've only yeah. watched three of them, and two were mm. bad. I, Baby Frankenstein was dumb as shit, but I had a blast with it. Mm. And you know, like, like every franchise, sometimes you know, you're Andy Dufresne. You got you know, two football fields of crap. You know, to get to the good yeah. stuff yeah. on the outside, it's just you, with wild. You gotta you're, find. You're... You gotta find Sheborg and Velocipaster. Those are the best oh, ones. <laughs> I'll even say is. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna go say ahead, I ben. think Cold Ground is actually a good movie from from Wild Eye. Mm-hmm. The only good one I've ever seen. I haven't seen that one. You know, it's I'll okay. even add for as for as bad as um the amazing bulk is, I did genuinely enjoy it. <laughs> I know. It's such I a know. weird movie. And then, and then, oh, what's great is if you can have fun with these. I just, I tried to fucking laugh and have fun okay. with the Jurassic Park. I, yeah, I just I, couldn't. I know. But it's just like I'm watching you, the incredible. I'm watching the Amazing Bulk, and I'm like, okay, I can understand <laughs> that you guys must have spent only a hundred dollars on the effect. Hundred dollars. I mean, yeah, it was like, something but, like that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. I mean, when you if you look at that, you can tell that. That they barely spent maybe uh, maybe a less than a grand, just yeah. on how 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 the film is made. <laughs> and oh, I can't look who's the in the house! <laughs> oh, there there's Patrick. <laughs> Patrick, you did not want to hear uh, what movie was the overall big pick of the two two thousand and tens. Yes, we we talked about your favorite uh, film production company, A twenty four, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, I man. saw in the somebody mentioned a movie that Gary Busey is in called Hider in the House. Has anybody ever seen yeah. that? No. They're asking yeah, if I that's haven't. considered horror. I've never heard of it. Nope, I haven't seen it. Me neither. Have you? Uh, no, I've never seen it. I've seen the oh. trailer. It looks pretty interesting. <laughs> no, because well, someone mentioned it, uh, yeah. the stent, stental syndrome. And I was like, oh, wait, that's right. But is that considered horror? You guys I consider that one horror? I have no idea. Well, what, what did you think? What did you think from this? It sounds like it from the description. Hmm. It says so after- nobody has uh, seen it, I guess. Nope. Uh, ah. I never considered Silence of the Lambs a horror movie, though. Apparently, I'm the only person in the universe that doesn't. Yeah, I never. Would you did. can call it more thriller, did, or where do you, how do you I, define I it? I call it a horror I thriller. thriller. I would have called it like a psychological, like mm-hmm. a thriller, a crime okay. thriller type of thing. Mm-hmm. Psychological horror. I never considered it horror, and I'm a horror fan, like, all these years until I, like, maybe the last three or four years, I keep hearing people say, oh, yeah, that's a cool horror movie. And I was like, mm-hmm. is that a horror movie? I did a, whole, <laughs> I did a video on it, actually. Yeah, right? it, it's it's, a, it's like, you Ooh. know, a lot of people consider Seven a horror movie, and I've never thought that either. Right. Yeah, no, or, yeah, or, 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 or Jaws. 
or Jaws. Or Jaws too. I'll be yeah, I know, yeah. Well, Jaws, I don't consider a horror movie. But but there are a lot of people <laughs> do. But oh, there he goes with his Jaws. Out. <laughs> but but I will say this: I, I'd consider Silence of the Lambs more of a horror than Jaws, and I yeah, love and I love both movies. Yeah, I, lo- Jaws... I love both movies. They're great. I just never yeah. like in my mind never considered. Silent. I'm not saying it's not a horror movie. I'm just saying like. For right. decades, I never considered it to be a horror movie. What did what did you what did you think when when it won um, best best horror at the Academy Awards? I don't think it won best horror, did it? Yeah, it did. Well, it won best picture. It won picture, best picture, best picture actor. actor, actress, and director. Yeah, it got yeah, the big four. There isn't like a best horror. Uh, there isn't like a best horror category. Is there? Well, no, I mean, well, no. best picture. I mean, but yeah, it got, being, no, it got nominated, but it didn't but, win. But they called it a but they called it a horror film. Like when whenever they did any press for it or article, like because because at they? the time, yeah, they were like you know like you know a horror movie that actually won you know all the major awards at the Academy Awards. I mean that's just stuff that I read when I was a kid because I mm-hmm. I, I was so intrigued by the movie. Like I read everything about it, interviews, and and I was just really intrigued by it. And that's kind of where I first thought it. Well, I was scared of it anyway, so to me it was horror. But I. I was a kid when I saw it, but that's why yeah, I always no, thought so, of so it I, as so I'm, I yeah. couldn't believe I couldn't believe my mother took me to go see Jaws. I didn't think she would let me. Uh, <laughs> she, she, she didn't want me to go see The Exorcist, but she's going to take me to go see Jaws. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There's nothing to fear, Monty. When you go see the shark in the theater, you eat the popcorn. You see, you go up there, it's not going to distract the shark. And, this. and you throw popcorn at the shark, you make sure you have a good knife and stab it in. Get away from the <laughs> Wow. Anyway. <man. laughs> wow. But you know, too, the, the line the line between thriller and horror and you know all the psychological thrillers and all those, they can the lines can be very blurry depending mm-hmm. upon your perspective oh, yeah. too. No, yeah. no, yes. That's true. Yeah, very true. Very, very true. Ben Ben says I didn't think it was made to scare people. <laughs> 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 Uh, Hider in the House on Amazon Prime uh, last year. I'm not sure if it's still up, but try to find it on some torrent site if you enjoy Busey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice. Oh, nice. I, well, it does look pretty interesting. Uh, if if Gary Busey is freaking out, then then that's that's worth it. That's worth it. That's worth the price of admission for you. That's pretty course, much every movie, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you going to keep wearing that shark thing or what, especially, man? I think you especially, should. Uh, I think it's worth it, especially in Predator 2, where he's just going off on Danny yeah. Glover. Oh, yeah. You got a big nose, and you're sticking it too far in my business. Yeah. <laughs> he was awesome in that, wasn't he? Yeah, of course. It sees our heat. <laughs> he, he's like a conductor when he's using his hands. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The tigers, yeah. the bears. Oh my. <laughs> you want great, some though. candy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, one of my favorite lines. Mm-hmm. You want some candy? <laughs> it was like, kid, go on home. Like that, that kid almost died. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh! Nice. He literally hides in a family's house. All right. All right. That's it. I'm sending the trailer after the stream is over. That's there you it. Go. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta watch it. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, anyways, guys, those were our picks for all the decades. That was pretty fun. That all seriousness, though, it was really cool seeing everyone's list. That was really, mm-hmm. really fun because it's not easy to pick, and it, and obviously for the <clears throat> '80s, we all picked a different movie in the '80s. And all of those movies are good movies. Pet Cemetery, Sleepaway Camp, Bad Taste, Evil Dead 2, Aliens, American Werewolf in London, and The Thing. Those are all some great movies, yeah. man. Yeah, was... Very ben, awesome. ben, you, ben, you said you love Sleepaway Camp. What do you think of parts two and three? I think they get lamer and lamer, but I enjoy <laughs> two and three. Nice. Uh, but the, for, for me... Um, for me, uh, Pam, or what's her name? Pamela Springfield. Yeah, Springsteen. Yeah. Springsteen. Springsteen. Springsteen uh, yeah. Yeah, she is <laughs> not my Angela, but that's just me. Felissa Rose. There you Rose. go. Yep. There you go. Uh, there but you go. I always, she was like a lot of fun, a lot of candy mm-hmm. fun, and yeah. part three is not as good as two or one. But right. Also pretty fun. <laughs> you know? Nice. 
Nice. Cool. Cool. All right, man. Well, anyways, with you guys in the chat or watching the replay, um, let us know what you think in the comments. Let us know what your favorites are from all these decades. A lot of great movies. We had fun with it. I got the links to all these guys' channel in the description. Check them out. They're awesome. And, uh, yeah, we're going to see if we can do this again in a month, and uh, we'll do some more crazy stuff. Strange monkey will be wearing his shark hat. And, uh, yeah, there's no killing that, the vibe in the night watch zone. <laughs> yeah. And we'll, and we'll see and if Jim actually likes Jurassic, uh, Jurassic Dead. <laughs> yes, I can't wait. I for that. hope so. It's gonna be awesome. Very cool. All right, so we will catch you guys later. Thanks for hanging out with us. If you're watching this, if you're listening to this, you are the night watch. Peace. Peace. Cheers. Adios. <laughs>